Welcome to Rehash. All the internet world news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. I'm Anthony Smith, I'm Zach Smith, and you're watching Rehash! <laughs> <laughs> One thing you'll notice is that we introduced ourselves, which to you means something is up. That means that we've got something very special planned at the end of the episode, where we're going to be interviewing a partner who got... Over a hundred thousand views on a video by sharing it to Facebook. Really? I wish yeah. I was sharing my stuff to Facebook. You know, we got a couple of news and tap whatever that we want to discuss with you, the Freedom Family. Yeah. If you'd like to provide an intro and be spotlit at the end of any of our regular episodes, link in the description to where you can do that. First thing I want to discuss with the Freedom Family, that's you, and of course you too, right. is Ryan Reynolds doing a trailer teaser, not a teaser trailer, yeah. but a trailer yeah. teaser for Deadpool. Um, which was just gloriously awesome. Glorious. Gloriously. Now, are you familiar with Deadpool? No. Okay, he's got all kinds of super awesome uh, superpowers. Okay. So, for instance, he heals insanely fast. Okay. He's insanely crazy. He's just insanely everything. That's... Yes. But here's the thing. The craziness is actually a superpower. Really? Yeah. He also has this thing where he, like, pulls large objects just out of nowhere. Yeah. It's like the pocket dimension is what they call it. And he's also very aware of the camera, so, uh, so he's like, yeah, whatever right. medium he's in, comic books, video games, whatever, he knows he's in a comic book or video game. See, I feel out of sync because I really don't know this character, and apparently he's really yeah, He's huge! Yeah, the internet Jesus. loves him. Um, but you should definitely check out the link in the description where you can see that trailer teaser, and within the next 24 hours, or by the time this goes live, probably 8 or 9, you'll be able to see the actual trailer he was teasing. So, you wanted to talk about? Yeah, I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about an Airbus that is able to travel up to 3,000 plus miles per hour. Now, I assume we're talking about a giant plane, right? Yeah, it's called an Airbus. It's an so absolute So, how plane. big of an area could this thing cover? Right, so it could travel from London to New York in one hour or less. What? Yeah. That is insane! It's absolutely insane. So, nonetheless, they invented it, and it's according to Airbus, much of the plane's aerodynamics are designed to limit and reduce the sonic boom it will create when it reaches supersonic speed. It, it's ridiculous. If wow. you guys want to read more, open the description. Of, of course, do not rip it. You guys can read more about this. Is Otherwise, this you will have to go to rehab like this guy over here. Yeah. No. Um, okay, so we are, and he's going to kill me for this, going to skip the comments section no today way. because we have a very special interview with Watson, a freedom partner who received over 100,000 views on a video that he submitted to a Facebook page. And so let's see if we can get him in a call now. So Watson, when you uploaded the video, did you expect it to get this many views on Facebook? I mean, this seems insane. Okay, yeah, I would try and say it. Um, okay, so basically, um, I put up this video on YouTube, I think around the 19th of July, around then, um, where I judged the Don't Judge Challenge. Uh, not sure if you're familiar with it. It's a trend which I just had strong feelings about I hated it because uh, it's this thing where you go like uh, you do this sort of ugly you have like unibrows and stuff like that and then you put your hand to the camera and then you take it away and you're an attractive person and it's supposed to be for people with insecurities so let's say you had you know cancer or something you do it without your wig let's say you're losing hair then you put your hand to the camera and then you turn out that you'd you know be fine you'd have your hair and all that but I mean, it was mainly, I hated it because it was um, being spoiled by just attractive people promoting their ego. So I judged it, it got something like 10 to 20 views. Um, I sent it into a Facebook page, very popular in the United Kingdom, called Unilad. Um, I didn't think they'd accept it and then they emailed me a day later saying, Whoa, did you narrate this? We'd love to have it on there. And I was just dancing with joy. The, th the fact that, because I thought five million Facebook likes and uh, you know I was I was so happy. Watson, now that's amazing. How did how did you feel about all of this? Like how did it feel as a YouTuber? I was ecstatic because I'd gone f I'd had seven I have well back then I had 70 subscribers and I was getting maybe 10 20 views and I was like how come a page with five million or more than that five million uh Facebook likes would be interested in my video. I was just, because I, I sent it in as a bit of a long shot. I didn't think they'd accept it. And yeah, I was just ecstatic. That would be a word for it. <laughs> it was crazy. So Watson, would you continue to do this as a channel strategy? Yeah, it does seem like a really good um, source of traffic. Well, in terms of strategy, I'm working with Unilad in promoting my channel. Um, 
I was sort of, you know, speaking to them about future uh, videos being posted, but I mean, I don't think anything will, because it's got something like 22 million views now, and I don't think anything will ever match up to that in terms of my videos. I don't think I'll ever produce something as good as that. But having said that, there are videos which they've been interested in off my channel, which they think, you know, could work. Um, so I'm, that's sort of my strategy, really. Keep making YouTube videos and work with them to promote them. So, Watson, tell us about your channel in one sentence. Okay, oh god, um, alright. Honest reviews, commentaries, and much more banter. There you go, is that alright? Of course, that's fine! So Watson, this is a fairly odd question, but what is your favorite pastry? Yeah, it's like donuts and streusels and yeah, what not. Okay, alright. My favorite kind of, that's, uh, well that is a weird question, uh, Okay, all right, I'm gonna have to now, you guys are gonna think this is weird. I'm gonna have to say sausage rolls. <laughs> is that weird? So are we talking like hot dogs and sausages wrapped in bread? Yeah, we're talking that. We're talking pigs in a blanket. <laughs> Watson, if you could be any superhero with any superpower, what would it be and why? Okay, I would be a mind controller. Okay, now this isn't just for promotion of my YouTube videos, I promise. Uh, <laughs> you must like my YouTube videos. No, it's, uh, I think it's probably, um, I don't know, I think it'd be quite cool because I could mind control myself to fly, I could mind control myself to have all these powers, I could eradicate evil in the world like terrorism and stuff like that by, you know, submitting people with good thoughts. You know, I think that would be alright. <laughs> Watson, we have a member of the Freedom family named Zircom. You're familiar with Zircom, mm -hmm. right? And he is having a little bit of trouble where people are, I wouldn't say bullying, but they're, um, they're taking the mick, as you would say in the UK, um, about his channel at school. Um, I'm wondering, what advice can you give him about, um, about dealing with this situation? Okay, uh, let me explain it in my situation and hopefully he can relate. So I had a channel um, called The DW Storm, which was, you know, maybe a year ago, um, and my school knew about it. I had, you know, friends watching the videos, but I think in a way I was a bit embarrassed by it. Uh, people would come up to me and sort of, I think, take the mick a bit, you know, because I was a very small YouTuber. I had something like 100 subscribers. And uh, people would, yeah, I just felt very embarrassed, which is why I set up this channel um, and I wouldn't tell anyone, I didn't tell anyone about this channel because I was embarrassed by what I was uploading and uh, I was worried people would make fun of it. So, going back to uh, Zircom, is it? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, in my situation, people took the mick quite a lot. And then when I reached um, a thousand subscribers and my video got onto Unilad and, you know, 22 million views, uh, people were like, oh yeah, that's my mate. Yeah, I go to school with him. He's my best friend. And I'm like, no, I, <laughs> I never spoken to you before. You used to take the mick when I used to do it before. And I think at the end of the day, you've got to be like that. That's got to be your motivation. You've got to be like, no, I'm going to prove these guys wrong. I'm going to become you know, successful in my YouTube channel, I don't care what the others say, because at the end of the day, it's what your viewers say. And if they're taking, you know, the mic, they're not, they're not viewers, they're not your friends in a way. So, if you're getting picked on, my advice to you is just continue doing what you're doing. Do not let it destroy yourself, because at the end of the day, you could have the last laugh, and hopefully you will. I'm sure you will. <laughs> So Watson, before we do let you go, because we know you're very busy with those amazing videos, what advice could you give us as content creators, and even the Freedom family? You just got to be creative in what you're doing, and don't let anyone put you down, really. I mean, even the most famous YouTubers get hate, you know? So, you just got to keep working. Watson, how many subscribers are you currently sitting at? <laughs> okay, alright, uh, let me just look. Uh, God, okay. Holy crap, okay. So, you know I said I had a thousand subscribers. 
Um, I was just being optimistic. <laughs> um, I actually have 999 subscribers and I've been shooting my 1000 subscriber video today, hoping that I get 1000 subscribers. So, hopefully by the time this comes out, <laughs> I'll have a thousand. Hey, he's always at a thousand. If you guys want to go subscribe to Watson, make sure to chilly open in the description and go subscribe to him. Let him know the Rehash family supports him, guys. He's so close to a thousand subscribers. Make sure to go support him. Yeah, it would be nice to be number 1,000. Um, anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, friend family.